Hello guys, Mars Freemans here. This is gonna be first video of my two video tutorial series, how to set up Mocha for All software that's capable of transmitting real-time motion capture to Unreal Engine 4. With this software, you can record mock-up with any video camera, including your mobile phone camera. In this first tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up CPU version of the software for the people who have older graphic cards. As always guys, if you like my video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump into it. First, we need to download the CPU version of the software. It's separated in two parts, so we need to download both files. After that, we're gonna go to the bottom to download Unreal Engine Receiver project. Make sure you're downloading Unreal Engine 4 project. Extract each file separately. If you can extract them at the same time, you may get an error when you're launching the software. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete uh, unnecessary files and we're just going to combine both folders. And again, I'm just going to delete these folders. Now open up mockup for all folder. And before we are running the software, you would need to print out these two photos that we're going to use later on in the video. These images are going to be used to calibrate your camera. And now we can open Mocha for All software. Before we set up the camera, I just want to show this picture from developer. He showcased how he set up his two camera setup, which is the minimum. You can use definitely more cameras. The more cameras you're going to have, the more accurate that motion tracking going to be. And as you can see, one of the papers that I said going to be used for camera calibration going to need to be placed on the floor and it's direction specific so make sure that the paper is facing the correct direction now we can press add camera choose our camera in the next step we're going to use other tracking paper or you can just face the camera in front of the screen either way is fine and it works pretty well both ways main purpose here is for the camera just to track that paper or the screen uh, in different angles in that way you're just calibrating it and the second calibration calibrates the paper on the floor and now you just repeat the same process for the rest of your cameras and you can rotate the camera if it's necessary. After the setup is done, we can press start capture and get in the front of the cameras and enjoy the mock-up. As you can see, it looks pretty good. There's some weird stuff that's happening, but I'm gonna talk about it more at the end of the video. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Unreal Engine receiver sample project. Just press yes and let it compile the plugins. I'm sure that most of you are interested how we can use this with MetaHumans, so let's download one and let's set it up. So let's go to the MetaHuman folder and open up MetaHuman Blueprint. Next, let's press the class settings and in the parent class, write track and choose track to control rig and then compile and save. And we can close this. Now let's scroll down and delete sample transfer cubes and we can also delete all these cubes, we don't need them anymore. Bam! Next thing, we're just gonna drop the MetaHuman Blueprint. Let's change the LOD, go here, put zero. Nice, now she has a hair at least. Okay, let's rotate her, so it faces the camera, nice. Uh, we're gonna change the light source to movable, so we can get rid of that error. And that's it, now we can just place play and put both of the applications side by side and look at this, the mockup is working. For the version 0.1, it actually software works pretty well. Camera setup is tricky. Like, you know, you need to align two cameras and uh, as I'm tall guy, I'm 6.2, uh, calibration is pain in the ass because I need to move cameras pretty far away. Then it doesn't track that paper on the floor. I need to print bigger paper. And in the settings, I max out a lot of stuff, but still the human looks a bit weird. And I still think it's because of my height, so I hope developers just gonna increase the option to stretch a bit like lower body and upper body. But in general, I like it. And anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.